Mount Fuji located on the island of Honshu is the highest mountain in Japan. It is 3776 meters high and for centuries it has been regarded as a sacred mountain and is still a magnet for hundreds of thousands of tourists every year. It is a volcano that has been dormant since its last eruption in 1707 but is still generally classified as active volcano by geologists. According to tradition, the volcano was formed in 286 BCE by an earthquake. It has erupted around 180 eruptions over the last 5,600 years, but the majority have been small and had a little effect on nearby residents. So what would happen if a super eruption of it take place? What would happen to the Tokyo? What would happen to lands? Would it result in earthquakes? How would it cool down the surrounding area? How many people were died in 1707? You are watching Deep Ride Zone and here is what would happen if Mount Fuji erupted tomorrow. A shift in the tectonic plates caused by the magnitude 9 earthquake that struck northeast Japan in March 2011 has increased the likelihood of an eruption of Mount Fuji volcano. In the worst case scenario, Tokyo metropolitan region, one of the biggest cities in the world hosting more than 30 million people, could be shut down in a matter of hours, with train service suspended, widespread power outages and airport closures. So even a small amount of volcanic ash from Mount Fuji eruption could stop trains and cause power outages in the Tokyo metropolitan area. It would force up to 750,000 people to take refuge due to lava and pyroclastic flow. If the fault sets off an earthquake, researchers say the slopes would most likely collapse, causing massive landslides and mud flows. An earthquake in 1707 caused Mount Fuji to erupt and killed an estimated 20,000 people. Its eruption could also cause massive earthquakes in surrounding area. It would also cool down the surrounding areas because the small ash particles decrease the amount of sunlight reaching the surface of the Earth. While lava could reach the outer edges of the Tokyo, the primary danger will come from ash which could fall through the air for several days or even weeks. In the worst case scenario, more than 17.3 billion cubic feet of volcanic ash would fall over Tokyo and the surrounding areas, so the city would be effectively shut down within 24 hours because of the ash. With just a 1 inch layer of ash, the simulation says roads would become unusable for all two-wheel drive vehicles due to lack of adequate friction. Railways would be stopped by even minimal amounts of volcanic ash. Airport runways would be unusable with only 0.20 cm of volcanic ash. And because many jets fly in the vicinity over Mount Fuji, there would be also a severe restriction on the number of flights. Large ships would be unable to navigate into Tokyo Bay due to poor visibility. Mobile pool networks would also be severed if volcanic ash piled off on communication antennas because of rain. Water supply could also be affected, either by impurities entering the water supply or because of supply being cut off completely. Health problems might also arise, with the inhalation of ash likely to cause a strong sense of discomfort. People with respiratory problems such as asthma or bronchitis would experience a worsening of their symptoms. That's all, we have uploaded a video about the Yellowstone Super Volcano Eruption, check it out. So guys, what do you think about this? If you have any questions, ask in the comment section below the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and also press the bell icon to get the notifications of new episodes.